Hey everyone, this is Propeller Boy. I recently uploaded a, a video tutorial of how to effectively use your afterlife in the early rounds of uh, Mob of the Dead, which is the amazing zombies mode in the uh, Uprising DLC for Black Ops 2. Uh, it's my very favorite zombies map thus far. Uh, I think it's fantastic. The only thing is in solo in particular, it's really hard because you have to ration out your afterlife, you have to ration out your points. Uh, so I did this tutorial which showed you basically how to effectively open up a lot of the maps and the perk machines uh, early on by using your afterlife effectively. But then I thought, you know, using this um, this idea of efficiency, what is the absolute soonest you could open, you could build a plane, which is the major story mode goal outside of the Easter eggs? And the answer is round five, believe it or not, solo. So I'm going to show you how to do it, solo round five. Here we go. When you come and you shock the thing to open up that double points, sell, you revive yourself. What and the then, going on? oh, I'm Finn, awesome, I love Finn. Where is everybody? First thing you do is buy the gun, buy the M14. You start with 500 points, you wisely invest, wisely invest in the uh, the M14, the good old Mark 14. So right now I'm just going to wait for these zombies to come in. I want to make sure that they're all sort of in shootable sight. Finn's really funny. Uh, if you dolphin dive, often when he lands he'll say, ow. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Ow. <laughs> so I'm just waiting until the zombies get inside, and then I'm going to kill kill five of them with six shots with my pistol, and then a knife, and then reload. I think the odds are starting to move in our favor. You want to make sure you just shoot one at a time. I think I missed one of those bullets. I bet you won't do that again. This is maximizing. Your points. I'm going to kill this guy. That was only five shots. Put six bullets into him. Build the wall a little bit. And you can expect anywhere from 2,000, after you've done that, 2,000 to 2,150 points. One more bullet and this guy dies. We don't want to do that. We want to use our afterlife effectively here. So I'm going to open this door, which also opens up the door at the other side of that hallway, to the warden's office side of things. The warden's key is here. It can be either here or on the other side. Um, so when we're on the other side, I'll show you how to get it. If it happens to be there, it doesn't change anything. So round one, we've taken care of all the zombies. Time to do all of our afterlife shenanigans. Jump up. Grab the panel. That lowers the key. If it's there, you don't need to do that if it's not there, obviously. Go into that wall portal. Jump. Uh, jump again. Kind of screwed it up there a little bit. No problem. Sprint down the hall. Shock that. Run back. Remember, you can always sprint. You can sprint quite a bit in afterlife mode. Open up uh, left and left outside. You open up that double point cell and plenty of time to revive myself. Don't forget to grab the key. I'm going to knife him to end. Whoop! Knife him to end round one. Now, believe it or not, actually, at this point, insta kill. Uh, means you get fewer points. But it's okay, because it's going to run out by the time that I uh, want to shoot some of these guys anyway. What you want to do is, obviously we've opened up these double points in that cell. We want to hurt a couple of zombies this way. Like at least four of them. At least four. And the reasoning being, you want to make sure that double points is used effectively. Why did you climb? Why would you climb upstairs, buddy? Why would you run away from me? I don't understand it. All right, well this will be fine. One shot, and then uh, uh, with the M14, and then a reload. All right. I only got a few rounds. Well, where do you come from, buddy? I want to make sure you don't kill them all, but... We're going to run to the other side. The one thing you don't want to get ever in this is a nuke. So we got 2,500 points, that's enough. Let's open this. We're going to go to the warden's office. Now, if the key... 
if this key is here instead of where, where we got it, then you just, in afterlife mode, you'd go up and through this hole that appears anyway. Uh, and then you'd shock that panel before you go into the uh, warden's office. Now, in my other tutorial, I did a couple of extra steps using this afterlife. And, uh, the re oh, fuck. The zombie's in the way. And the reason why is, oh my god, seriously? Get out of the way. Oh boy, this isn't good. What is going on? Shock the thing. This is going to be tight. Down. Shock the voltmeter. Come back. And this is integral. This, uh... Shocking this thing for double points. I'm just barely going to have enough time. Oh boy. So hopefully it goes a little smoother for you guys than that. Kill uh, whatever zombies you have left to end the round. Look hungry. Try eating some lead. Pretty ugly. So now in round three, we're sort of at the point in which we can still do, uh, it'll be two shots. The rule uh, for the knife kills is uh, whatever round it is, round three minus one is two. You take away one and that's how many shots you need with the uh, Mark 14 before you knife. But here, there's a significantly higher number of zombies that come in, and a lot of them are fast. And so I'm really going to start going for headshots more than anything else. But what we want to do here is we want to, like, just herd a bunch of them together. A significant number. More than three, more than four. Although, I can, uh oh. It can get a little dicey, because again, you don't. We don't have jug. We won't be buying any perks. I'm only finishing what you started. Okay, that'll be enough. That doesn't change anything. So now they have them more in a, in a line. Going to avoid that nuke like the plague. And, uh... Use the, uh... uh that might be the last one, so... We definitely don't want to... Oh. There we go. That's probably the last one. We don't want to get that nuke, because that ends the round early, and we have to ration this out. Um... Okay, so now that we've done this on round three, I have 4,050 points. And what I'm going to be doing with this is, first off, I'm going to be using a, an afterlife to take care of the laundry. Which is on the other side. Oh, come on, really? Which is on the other side. Whoa. Hey, buddy. So I know that I have two, so I can afford to do that. I'm going to go back to the, uh, the other side here. It'd be faster if I run with my... Pistol. I got that max ammo. Um, you can use that to your advantage to get more points in the double points mode, but I'm really not going to bother because uh, um, I want to show you that you can do this without any power-ups whatsoever. So now that I have the warden's key, I'm going to open this up. Where is the blue? Where's the red box? I forget where the red box is here. There it is. We're going to get our first part for the plan. We use this afterlife to shock the laundry into life, revive ourselves. Boy, the fast zombies, they freak me out too, because I'm wearing turtle beaches to let them know, uh, let me know where they are. And it's freaky times. So this actually allows me to get a few more points, because we have, uh, more zombies come, and we can deal with them at a more leisurely pace, generally speaking. They'll come in, uh, and we can do the old two-shot and knife. Because again, the... Where are they all? Take my advice and don't gamble what you can't afford to lose. Okay, laundry's ready.
Uh oh. Oh boy, this is a little freaky, eh? Yeah, don't be afraid to go for the headshots. It's not worth it to, uh. It's not worth it to, to really gamble. If you can't afford to. Don't gamble what you can't afford to lose. In this case. Uh, well, I have an awful lot of points here. I mean, I got that double points. I'm not going to reset because I didn't get it, but you know, you'll know, you sort of get the idea. Uh, we have the uh, clones. How many zombies are left? Quite a few. Alright, I'll kill a few more. Oops. I'm going to leave at least two. Those are probably the last two. So, still on round three. And now that I have the laundry part, we are going to go uh, to the other side again. What am I doing? Here we are. We're going to go to the warden's office side. And... Grab the, uh, the rope. Let's see, where am I going here? No, I want to go upstairs. Whoops. Did I? No, I'm grabbing the, uh, I'm going through the tunnels. Pardon me. I just got turned around. So we're going to go through the Citadel tunnels here. Open that door, 1500 points. There's the box here. Nope, it doesn't matter. We don't buy any weapons. Open this door, 1000 points. So you need 2500 plus this one at the bottom, I forget exactly how much this is. 2,500 plus... Gotta open that. And another 3,500 points. And I've got 4,000 to spare, so... As you can see, I'm doing okay. Um... Actually... I'm going to go one further, and I'm going to open up this guy, which I think, this is, is this 1,000? 1,500. Yeah, which you should still have. This should just about break you if you haven't gotten the, the, the double points, but you should have just enough. And what I'm going to do here uh, is I'm going to do a very, very big afterlife. What this is going to do is turn on the power. That allows you to get the engine part in the warden's office. And I'm going to come up here. And take a look at the... So we've got two, three, four. There we are. These are, remember? Good, I got it right. I'm going to run back to my body. That one's a little freaky, but it's actually not so bad. So while I still have things under my control, I'm going to uh, go up and get that... Wait, here it is. Here's the rope. I got the rig. So now I've got two parts out of the five. How many zombies do I have left? Do I have two? I do. I have two. And what I'm going to do here, I mean, I have some extra points. Um, I'm going to, uh, this is a 1500 point door, I believe, yeah. How much is the MP5? A thousand. I'm going to buy this. And I'm going to do a couple of, uh, I'm going to do a couple. You can also buy the Uzi. The Uzi's a little cheaper. Uh, I could have run upstairs and bought that Uzi. I'm just going to buy the MP5, though. Get a couple headshots. Avoid the nuke at all costs. Now 
And once I start feeling that I'm cornered... Uh, I'm going to... Uh, open up this door. I'm not really cornered, but I'm just... I'm going to do that anyway. And so, what this does... Is allows me to get this, which I will do. Now make sure to clear. Make sure to clear this out because you don't want to wake up and have all these zombies on your ass. Remember, they also come over that edge too. This is a little. This is a bit dangerous. Doing halfway through a round, but it's not that bad. So here you can sort of this is a really good area to kind of kite around a little, you know. You can feed Biscuit the dog a little bit. Oh, that might be the last one. That might be the last one. So I've got three parts. I'm gonna run upstairs to the warden's office. Do I really only have that many bullets? Maybe I should have bought the Uzi. Okay, you know what? The Uzi's a better choice than the MP5, folks. Take it from me. Oops, I went the wrong way. Why am I always going the wrong way there? That's amazing. Uh, here we go. Go into the Warden's office. Do do. And uh, considering I have the power turned off to the trap, I can get this. Here's the engine, boys. Engine. So all that's left is the wheel. Now you know what, folks. I don't. Even, I don't know if I have. Uh, I wonder. This actually is uh, pretty sick, but because of that double points. Oh no, never mind. I don't have enough cash. I do not have enough cash. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to buy that Uzi now from the the warden's office. Because I need the cat. I need the uh, the firepower. This is just to be safe. I can fuck around with that box. So I should have done. I should have done that in the first place. It's not worth going for the box, actually. Finn, you're right. Lots more ammo here. So what I'm gonna do? Kill this last one. And that's the end of. Not the end of level four. That should be it. Yep. Buy me a little bit of time here. There's a weird fucking box in here. Should we bust it open? I'm just buying a little bit of time, folks. But basically, you'll see I'm on round five here. And all I want to get is, uh, sure, why not? We got more lead than we know what to do here. We're going to get enough points to be able to uh, open up the remaining doors. I don't like this. It sounds like they're coming from all different angles, so... What is that? Double points, eh? You know, just to show how hardcore I am, I'm going to avoid it. I'm not hardcore, actually, but, like, I just want to point out that you really don't need drops. The only thing, drop-wise, is you need to avoid a nuke. So I need 2,000 to open that up. I think I need another... Another 15 to be able to open up that other one, so. That can't be the last one. 3180. You know what, if this is a, uh, if this is a 1500 point, uh, door, then I may be SOL. Anyway, let's see. Here we go. Gonna open this door. Please don't be 1,500 points, game. Please just be 1,000. Oh, look at that. So. Now that we have this taken care of, we grab the last uh, part. Control valve.
So I did have that free, uh, I'm looking for a red box, whoops. I did have that free double points. But I used it very badly because I bought the MP5 instead of the Uzi. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this, whoops, where am I going? Here we are. I'm going to go up to the roof. Open the thing. And there you have it, folks. We are ready to fly at level five. Well, it's hard to believe a nitwit like Arlington could come on. Come on. Oh boy, that was close. Steering this thing. Level five, baby. So you can do it, just advise, it, it involves a little bit of uh, practice, knowledge of where to go, uh, rationing out, you'd never survive this, rationing out your afterlife and your points, and uh, don't buy that MP5, that's a bad idea. Now, I did this without the benefit of many, uh, many power-ups, many of the double points, instant kill, that sort of stuff. Uh, you don't need to do that. This is just to show you that you can be very, very unlucky um, with the power-up grabs and then still be able to do this for round five. So there you have it, folks. The plane and the bridge on round five. Now, watch me fruitlessly go for however long I can on this bridge without any perks. It's going to be a bad scene. We need to get the hell off of this bridge. Hey, boomer buddies, give me a hug. Nasty shit. 